Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is Poco F3 I mean the Mi 11X or Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews back with new review this is an Ghost OS 13.8 you can see here this is the version of the uh, ROM here based on Android version is 13 again it's the latest one we are waiting for Android 14 yes I am also if you want to get those kind of videos subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon also whenever i upload a new video you will get notified here 13.8 ghost edition pixel is the version of this rom uh, and september 5th 2023 is the latest security patch and no kernel will be used here i mean 12 point uh, this one 4.19.246 no kernel has been used in this particular rom will be explained everything in detail stay tuned till the end of the video guys and we'll be showing this first aqua battery you can see this how the results i got currently i'm using this from last couple of days this room but i kept uh, turned off this smartphone for quite a two to three days maybe yeah now i'm running it again with this particular rom you can see this is the results i got and even you get um, this kind of results here and also i want to show some of the uh, benchmark and other results before that i want to show this and to do app opening time also you can judge how it handles actually 7 lakhs 98 is the score and temperature raise was around 5.8 degrees celsius and battery has been dropped for four percent here during this entire anti to benchmark result testing which is quite uh, disappointed because uh, temperature raise was a little bit higher compared to average whatever i have seen in the many of the roms it will be around four degrees celsius only but it is getting 5.8 degrees celsius maybe a degree is little bit hotter in this particular rom that you need to keep in mind a camera application again you get a proper nx camera application you get all the toggles here which are working fine here as you can see yeah I really like the vibration haptic feedback even in volume if you can use this toggle anywhere if you use even the brightness toggle you can customize them the vibration haptic feedbacks has been done excellent in this room I really like it DRAM information again you get a level 1 certified you can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this particular ROM dialer again you get a typical uh, dialer let me show you this yeah this how the dialer looks like if i go into yeah let me go into settings and show you some of the settings here as you can see you get these kind of settings in this dialer which is quite interesting in this particular rom and safety net status again it will get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use that's going to work fine without any issues and dolby atmos is also pre-installed here a pixel kind of dolby experience will be experience in this particular rom after flashing this rom you will get that no need to worry regarding sound also and internet connectivity ways i have 100 mbps fiber connection here it's pulling up to 90 mbps which is fine in my opinion even with mobile data connection it is going to work fine no problem regarding that too and some of the benchmark results will show now I yeah, will go to pictures here and screenshots uh, first and foremost thing is you will get that turbo watt charging as you can see it will slowly increase the wattage and the output will going to increase this is just after a few minutes of uh, connecting the charger this how it shows but once you connect it for long minutes it will increase the output yeah this is the CPU throttling test done for 100 thread test guys you can see on the screen yeah let me show you the results this how the result I got in CPU throttling test the maximum is around 257 and average is 242 and minimum is 192 and it's throttled to 88 percent of its max performance and this is done for 15 minutes guys this is how the result i got and the Geekbench score again single score is 1085 and 3067 is the multi score again the kernel user is links 4.19.246 no kernel has been used uh, as of now the smoothness in the ua is very good and haptic feedback strength is very very good in this particular rom and it's very good in my opinion the user interface is really really good and you also see the settings panel here i will explain one by one very soon and you also get this app active status from here you can kill them from here and the quick settings panel is also very much uh, smooth here you also get edit options there are a lot more options let me change this location and dark theme and also sync option is also given you also get a dolby atmos separate icon there let me turn off the location 
maybe you might get a little bit better bat left now it's in the white mode i mean light mode uh, now we'll see this ghost icons you can select from here this is an added feature in this particular rom you can individually select for certain apps these are the app results now let's move into settings here actual settings of the rom you get a system you get a system profiles again and also a gestures option lift to check phone 100 mode system navigation again if i go into the settings you get a both the options of increase the pill radius and also length which is quite interesting and very good in this particular rom double tap to check the phone if you want you can enable that prevent ringing if you want you can mute or you can even turn off that by pressing here and if i go into google well-being this is digital well-being yeah passwords and account and uh, security features you get a face unlock and fingerprint unlock if it is yeah this is encrypted yeah let me show the fingerprint unlock first and then followed by face unlock as you can see the fingerprint unlock speeds are quite fast here nothing like time taking process let's see the face unlock is also very much fast you can see this i really liked it in this particular rom i think they will carry the same in upcoming builds standard 14 build will be most expected in this channel yes definitely many people are waiting for that very soon we are going to get that accessibility menu again it's a handy feature you get a display size and text you can make it bold text if you want that and you get plenty of options here again vibration and haptic strength for individual settings you can enable or disable or you can increase or decrease from here color and motion options are given again accessibility menu uh, shortcuts may be here button and gesture yeah if you want you can enable that it's a an handy feature you, you have a separate uh, whatsapp group guys follow i mean join that group you can discuss regarding poco f3 or redmi k40 or the mi 11x this is mi 11x currently my devices you can join there you can have a discussion regarding this particular uh, smartphone you also get some of the links easily you can access from there i recommend to join that group wallpaper some style again you get plenty of wallpapers here as you can see it's different than what it should be and you also get some of the themes here theme kind of wallpapers pre-installed in this particular room basic colors you get a group of colors again themed icons is given app grid is given up to 16 to 10 is given quite good icon is also given you can choose them shape and font also you can change from here uh, now moving into battery settings again you get this kind of cool animation here which i really like it battery usage you get this kind of battery usage settings here if you want a pixel kind of let me show you this battery optimization is given thermal profiles has been given you can customize them charging control has been given if you go into battery saver you get simple battery saver nothing like extreme battery saver is included in this particular rom now moving into other settings like sound and vibration you can see all the basic sound settings has been given direct sound settings is also given you can even choose the headphone type and preset and even you can select the scene also hi-fi audio system is also included in this direct sound settings you also get the pattern i really like this d triple z d triple z pattern which is quite good in this particular rom in the display settings did i explain that yeah display settings you get this dark theme you also get pure black option which is quite good you already seen starting of the video how it looks live display is given again color calibration is also given extreme color calibration is not given you get these kind of options here if you want you can keep one among them a lot more presets have been given peak refresh rate you can select from here minimum refresh rate display cutout if you want you can select that tap to wake and tap to sleep both are given and working fine dc dimming is also given high brightness mode these are also included in this particular rom these are the actual settings now moving into the ghost os settings these are a little bit customizable here quick settings again header image you can choose them uh, if you want to go into header image you can see you can choose plenty of the header images are pre-installed in this particular rom also you can choose from local image options are also given which is quite interesting in this particular rom tint also you can choose the color opacity height padding top and side padding you can adjust from this rom data usage and again battery style you get plenty of options here battery percentage and battery slider style also you can choose here uh, position them you can position that you get plenty of options again qs panel styles are also given if you want you can change them tiles layout also you get plenty of options here animation style is given qs page transitions again there are plenty here you can play around them and you can customize your smartphone to next 
level and coming to buttons again these are the button settings you get little bit customization here too and lock screen customization again you can change the lock screen clock style let me unlock here yeah these are the customization you get as you can see swipe the clock to change font style you get double line clock position single i mean small clock size double line clock size and lock screen clock format single line double line you can choose from here media cover art is also given and other things you can see on the screen and miscellaneous settings again unlimited photo storage and high fps count in bgm kind of games has been given and if you want to enable that you can enable from here navigation again you get this kind of customization you can personally keep these actions for a particular app or action if you want to make it out sound settings again there are some if you want you can use them status bar customizations are also given plenty here you can make it out even you can add the logo from here this how it is uh, let me keep this yeah these are the customizations available even user interface style already explained this setting style also you can customize the currently it's in legacy os if you want you can keep different kind of setting this is the actual settings and customizable ghost settings available in this room if you like the video give it a like guys let's move into bgm and how it handles in this particular room let's see this is how the gameplay settings you get let me show the graphic settings as you can see you can uh, enable up to 90 fps in this particular room using the options present in the miscellaneous settings as i already explained that let's see how it handles in the 90 fps as you can see the smoothness is really really good it is quite fast here yeah i should enable that peak and open scope or peak fire uh, but i know it's quite good the gaming experience is really really good here you can see there was no lag even two of them encountered me that's fine uh I'll come back here. This is how the gaming experience in this Ghost is 13.8 guys based on Android 13 and latest security patch available. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, you can ask in the comment section and I recommend to join the separate WhatsApp group present for this particular smartphone. You can ask many queries there and you can also get support from other people. Uh, hence this the review of this Ghost OS 13.8 for Mi 11X or Redmi K40 or the Poco F3. We'll be meeting you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now.